I mean, of, of course, you know, the cash money's and the low limits, you know, played a big part of my career. You know what I'm saying? I'm just happy to be here and have a record that's doing good. Yeah, and when did you start making music? How, how did you decide, like, you know what, I need to start making music? I started making music, like, in the early 2003s. You know, one of my best friends, he was a, a rapper, you know what I'm saying? So it kind of, like, grew on me. You know what I'm saying? I, I wasn't, um... I wasn't a rapper, of course, like I told you, but I used to hang out in the studio with all the rappers in our city, including, you know, one of my best friends. It was Deuce, uh, KK, who's with 50, The Squad, who was with Wayne, uh, Magnolia Chop, a bunch of artists that's from New Orleans. We used to all share the same studio. And just being there, seeing them be creative, I was all so young and talented and hungry. Um, it just rubbed off on me. So I started, Rapping and hum, and you know, humming words and melodies and stuff like that. And next thing you know, um, you got young greatness. Oh, um, you got young greatness. Yeah. I try to tell them on the way to the song. Because I know I've been actually been doing, doing my music. I've been rapping since 2002. Uh, yeah, I've been grinding on the streets of New Orleans since 2002. So, you know, I've been, you know, I've been doing that for a long time. You know, so to finally have my chance to really, you know, do my thing. Shit, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm excited about that. You know what I'm saying? What you feel that you, that you bring to the table that you come from a legendary city? Man, I, just, I feel like that just bring it a whole different, you know, a whole different vibe, you know, and I, I bring, you know, I'm going to bring that substance back to music, you know what I'm saying? Um, people shy away from that, you know, but that's, that's the era I'm from, you know, I'm going to bring that substance, that feel back, you know what I'm saying, music to the hip hop there, so. You know, I'm excited to bring that part of the game back. You know what I'm saying? Bring that part to QC. You know what I'm saying? So. You know, I'm excited to bring that part of the game back. You know what I'm saying? Bring that part to QC. What's up, world? It's your boy, Young Greatness. Do all this on. I tried to tell him all the way. Do 19. QC the label. You know what I'm saying? Money on the table. Do all in the building. Fuck me. We live at the, at the listening session. All the DJs here. Got my nigga hit three niggas with me. You know what I'm saying? Got my nigga twin with me. You know? So y'all know. Um, yeah, you know, first of all, there's no ill will with me and PR coach getting that like that. Let's just clear that out. You know, but sometimes when we do a business, you know what I'm saying? We all have different opinions, different way we see things. And some, sometimes things is not meant to work. You know, sometimes God have his own plan for you. And I feel like um, with that situation, that wasn't God's plan for me. So, you know, you can't you never question God's judgment. You got to just follow his, you know, his path. You got to have faith in him. Okay. So that's what it was. You know, so you got you to kind of earn your key. And that's what I did. I got in and in less than a year, I made one of the biggest songs that label had. And you know what I'm saying? Sold a lot of units, you know what I'm saying? 800 some thousand units to be like exact. Right Wherever now. you from, you will get hated the most. You know, most rappers die in their own city. It's a fact. And, uh, you know, you have haters who who was in school with you and, and they mad because they was on, they was in that, th in that third grade class with you, but they don't have the same hustle as you. You know, they hate you for no reason. They hate you for, they hate you for your success. If you was a local rapper and you and you didn't have much, they would love you. So live in Atlanta. Uh -huh. But I look at it like, um, anywhere you go at, it's gonna be some drama. It's gonna be hate. But it ain't gonna be no hate like, you know, the, the city where you from. Uh -huh. You know, I'm faced with it every day. You know what I'm saying? You just have to, you know, I just keep on moving. I just keep working. I give them some more, some more stuff to hate about. I'm just being real with you. Yeah. You know, I don't really give a fuck about that. You know, they're going to talk. They're going to say whatever they want to say. You know what I'm saying? You know, you just have to keep the real genuine people around you and keep some savages around you because if they get on some savage shit, you just got to be ready to get back on some savage shit with them. You know what I'm saying? I just was raised like that. You shouldn't feel no man with God. 
And you know what I'm saying? I'm not letting nobody, you know, run me from, you know, my, you know, my family. And my family's in New Orleans. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not, I'm not a dummy. And you know, I'm not ignorant. But if I have to go see my kids, and I have to go see my auntie, or I have to go see my grandmother or my mother, that's what I'm gonna do. I don't care what, who's saying what, or who's saying they're gonna do what. Well, I'm gonna have to die going out brave. And that's just what it is. Before I let somebody make me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, what, who's saying what, or who's saying they're gonna do what? Well, I'm gonna have to die going out brave. Going out brave. And that's just what it is. Before I let somebody make me, you know what I'm saying, uh, change how I'm living. It ain't happening like that. Mm -hmm. That's just what it is. Do you think a lot of people around you have changed since you've become so successful? I mean, I would say some some people that was around me and in my immediate circle, you know, some of them did some shady shit, but it's expected, it's cliche. You know what I'm saying? That always happened with every every uh, when every person that becomes a star, you know, just not in music, you know, people go to getting just doing weird shit. Every uh, when every person that becomes a star, you know, just not in music, you know, people go to getting just doing weird shit. And that's when you really find out, you know, what I'm saying who had ulterior motives and who's genuinely your friend. See, if you don't love Teddy, I don't want you around me. Period. It have nothing to do with young greatness. You have to love me. If you don't love me and care for me, I don't want you around me. fuck the rap shit because to me you know a lot of this shit is fake fuck the rap shit because to me you know a lot of this shit is fake Ten. And family members say the victim is 35-year-old Theodore Jones, uh, also known as Young Greatness. WDSU's Heath Allen just spoke with the family and joins us now live with the latest information on this unfolding story. Heath. Hey, Charles, Randy, I just got off the phone with Janine Rose, who now lives in Atlanta, Georgia, and obviously she's devastated at this point over the loss of her son. Family members, including Ms. Rose, identify the victim as 35-year-old Theodore Jones, known as Young Greatness. Here's what we know right now. Police say gunfire broke out outside this Waffle House in the 2900 block of Elysian Fields just after 1.30 this morning. Shell casings were found in the parking lot the victim found near the curb. Jones's mother, Miss Rose, now living in Atlanta, tells me he was actually FaceTiming with his manager when the shooting occurred. What led to the murder, not known at this time. Rose says Jones was actually in New Orleans for a funeral and was supposed to have been back in Atlanta yesterday. Rose says her son graduated from Kennedy High back in 2002, never violent, didn't carry a gun. And she's upset over the continuing violence in New Orleans. She says the night doesn't have any eyes. She says nothing good happens at night. I can't stand that place. They can have it with their politics and potholes. It's too many mothers taking slow walks to sad tunes while they sit at home and play politics with people's lives and people living. They can have it down there. They can have it with their politics and potholes. It's too many mothers taking slow walks Listen, I need to get my point across to the parents of these young children. Please, y'all, get your children, get your babies. Because that slow walk to that sad tune I had to take. It's not a walk y'all won't take. Get your children, y'all. 
grab a hold of your children, because all I have is memories and a tomb. You don't want that. I'm so exhausted from going to Mount Olivet. I'm just worn out. I'm worn out. Y'all get y'all children. Get your children for them other people, the men and them grown men. Get your children, and then you be sitting in the courthouse all night begging and pleading. Don't lock my child up. Do your job and get your children. Y'all always want to complain and talk about the city, but it starts at home. It starts at home. Get your children. Make your children your habit. Love your children. In order to be a mama, you got to come out yourself. It ain't no longer about you. Get your children. No, everybody can't afford name brain, but you can keep your children clean. You can keep them safe. You can keep their stomach from touching their back. You can keep them warm in the winter and cool in the summer. Get your children. Get your children. Because standing here, I don't feel good. I don't feel good standing here. Ain't nobody in a million years could have ever told me I'd be standing here at a press conference for my son. Come on, y'all. Y'all got to do better. Y'all can't keep putting everything off on everybody else. You can't put it off on her. You can't put it off on him. Y'all carry them children nine months. Get them before you be carrying them behind the tomb like me. I'm telling y'all, get y'all children. Thank you. I was given that name, like, man, from one of my homies. He actually the reason why I started rapping. His name was Deuce. Uh, he passed away like two years ago. And when we first started... When he first, you know, really started embarking on music in New Orleans, I wasn't rapping there, but I used to bring him to the studio every day. So me going to the studio every day, it kind of rubbed off on me where I wanted to rap because I got tired of sitting in the car waiting for him to finish his session. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I just say, well, I need to make some be useful. When he finished his little two, three hours, I need to get me two, three in. You know, because that just was the thing. You know, everybody knew music is culture in New Orleans. So if we friends and I'm rapping, you're going to start rapping, you're going to start rapping, and it's going to just form into something. So once I started rapping, I, I didn't have a name. I just was rapping. And I said, what, what I'm going to call myself? He was like, man, I'm going to figure something out. And he just came back one day and was like, man, you're going to call yourself Young Greatness. And it just stuck with me, you know, all the years. You know, genetically, though, because one of my cousins, you know, worked for Manny Fresh since I was a kid. So in our family, that was always in my family head and my family vision for me. But I choose my own path with my career. You know, so, you know, once things, you know, appeared to the public that things was kind of shaking with me, with my situation, you know, um, Slim actually reached out, you know, before Baby and, you know, wanted to talk to me about my situation. And I was actually still on quality control. And he was willing to still work with them to try to help me go further, considering the fact that I'm from New Orleans. And they just wanted to see somebody from the city win. You know, so um, we weren't able to kind of put it together then. And a few months after that, that's when both of them collectively came together, you know what I'm saying, through the works of Cito uh, and Busy that also work close with Cash Money that put it together, you know, to take me to the home team. Donald Rowe has been convicted of second degree murder for the death of New Orleans rapper Theodore Young Greatness Jones. Although he didn't shoot Jones, DA Jason Williams says Rowe recruited two of his younger cousins to commit the killing. Williams describes Rowe as, quote, the ringleader, unquote, and says the two younger suspects are already serving significant jail time. Jones was shot and killed in a New Orleans Waffle House parking lot back in 2018.